Hey, welcome to Sticky Situation. I'm Sticky. It's my nickname anyway. Uh, today I'm going to go over some uh, chainsaw little technical things that I've figured out just very recently. That I, you know, I've been chainsawing for a lot in the last five years since I bought my land. And I've been cutting down a lot more trees, but even around, I mean, chopping down trees around the regular house, not just the homestead. Um, so I've used my chainsaw a lot, probably a couple hundred hours in the last few years so a lot of time spent on it and I didn't know this fact I just going along you know I know basic maintenance putting things together and stuff and how to sharpen a chain and and do all those things but I did I had some weird problem that I was having with my last chain um, my old chain that I have on here and I had this problem on my other chainsaw not just my timber wolf here but I have a little Ryobi that I was having the same issue with so if you look at the chain here, so normally your chain, when it's on good, tight, you want to be able to pull it down so the teeth aren't hanging out, and that's that's a good tight fit on it. So I've just installed this new chain, and it's perfectly good and everything else. Um, and this old chain, exact same size, this is just a 20 inch saw blade, so I have this I had an older bar on there that was kind of bent, and I thought, well, maybe I was having an issue because my chain, when I had it in there, was dangling down really far, no matter how tight I got it. And so I thought, well, maybe it's the bar. So I got the new bar and it's same, tightened it up, same issue. And I just couldn't figure this out. And so I finally went and bought a new chain and the new chain fits in there perfectly. You know, it's tight. I still have room to tighten it more, to expand this out. Um, but with the old chain, I had this expanded out using the little knob here, expanded it out as far as I could go. So it's hitting the back of the bar couldn't move it any farther and it still was way too loose and so I saw it a little bit and the chain would pop off almost every single time. So I'm going to take this apart and show you what it looks like with the old chain on it. Alright so here's the two chains side by side. Let's get you close up on that. So we have the two chains. Those are exactly the same thing. So they are both this echo chain, 3 8 inch, 0 0.50 for the gullet, and then 70 chain links. Okay, those are both 70 chain links. I've counted those, they are 70 chain links. But for some reason, the old chain, if I can get a real proper thing here. Beginning close, the old chain is a little bit longer than the new chain. And I couldn't figure this out. I, I counted the chain, chain links are all the same, and everything else. So chain links are all the same, everything else, same brand, same everything else, same packaging number. When I first got this, it fit pretty good on my Thing and it was all right. So now I'm gonna attach it onto here and show you that difference in there. So as you can see on that, with the chain pulled, I mean I pull it to the very end of the bar. It's maxed out on the bar there. Kind of hard when it's not in place, but so it's maxed out on the end of the bar there. I can't pull it any farther in this direction, and you can see. Is dangling so even if I get it in there and I tighten that screw it can't go any farther past right here and I the distance on that chain still it's not even tight it's not even close to tight and hanging down there so interesting fact on that one so you can see the difference even though they're the same chain everything else pull this off and show you with the new chain So 
So now see when I pull that tight, I still have a lot of room back in here. The other one pulled tight, I was right at the back of the bar. So I'm gonna tell you what I found out about this and the interesting thing. So I admit when I'm running my chainsaw, the bar oil will get a little low and I'm kind of a cheapskate, I admit. I'll, I'll own that. Um, so I don't refill my bar oil. I'll, I'll keep it, you know, I'll put enough in that it's still lube, that it's still going good, but I won't always do it a lot. And so sometimes when I'm cutting for a while or I'm just too lazy because I'm cutting, I'm chopping, chopping, and I don't want to stop and put in the bar oil. So my chain will start to get kind of hot because I'm going for an hour or two at a time. And I didn't think anything of it. I thought, well, you know, as long as this part of it's, as the flywheel and everything's still good and I'm not getting that too hot, I'm okay. Well, I didn't realize this, that when your chain heats up over and over and over again, apparently there's something called chain stretch. I mean, I'm assuming there is. I never found this, anything online, or I've never realized it. Talked to someone else and they were confused, someone who else who deals with chainsaws, and they were confused as to why my chain, which is the exact same, does not fit on this chainsaw anymore. And so I've come up with the conclusion that it's chain stretch and that's happened because I've run it too hot too often and it stretched this chain out even though it's metal there's no real give to it it's metal and uh, so it shouldn't do that well apparently it does so it gives me an extra like inch worth of chain after all this time of not of overheating it and not putting enough bar and chain oil in it. So I'm having that small issue and I realize that it's my, it's gotta be my issue. It's not just the chain, it's not manufacturing because it's carried over from all of the different chainsaws that I have. They all have this problem because it's me because I'm too cheap to put in bar and chain oil every single time. So just to kind of heads up on that, make sure you're putting the bar oil in, make sure you're doing it right uh, so you don't get that problem with the chain stretch. Cause I mean, it does, it leads to, your, Every time you're doing your chainsaw, you gotta tighten that up because it'll, it'll get loose when you're moving and bending it and stuff. The chain will get a little loose, so you gotta stop and tighten the chain a bit. Um, but it's dangerous because if your chain gets too loose and starts popping off, this thing was popping off every time I was cutting wood. And when it pops off, it not only falls down, hits that, but it could break the chain, could whip back, could, could cut me really bad. And anytime your chain pops off, it's a dangerous situation. And so keeping that bar oil level high, you know, at the right level for it, is important. Don't be a cheapskate like me and make sure that you do adequate maintenance like you're supposed to do. I'm not saying to top it off every 10 seconds, but make sure it's full enough that your chain's not getting super hot. I mean, you look at this chain, it doesn't, doesn't look like it's all blue. It's not, doesn't have burn marks in it. I wasn't having that problem, but I'm just, just enough that it got hot enough that it stretched out and stayed stretched out. So that's my uh, pro tip, semi-pro tip to you um, for chainsaw use. Don't let your chain stretch by letting it get too hot. So keep track of that. And so now you know if your chain's still loose and you got it maxed out, that is your reason. You have to buy a new chain. There's no way around it. Um, you can't cut this and take one link out doesn't work. These things are made to not be easily taken apart because you don't want them to break and flip up and kill you. So there you go. Semi pro tip for you and hope you learned something new from my mistakes and I certainly have learned something new and now I know how to fix the problem with all my chainsaws that I'm having. All right, so this is an example of what I was talking about on my different, so this is my Ryobi chainsaw. You can see how low and how loose the sucker is. That thing, so even if I undo these, so I loosen that, then I want to try to push this out even farther, it's a max. I can't get it to go any farther out. It's completely maxed out, can't go anymore. Ugh. I, even with it loose, I can't pull this in and out any farther. It's at the very edge of it as well, so I can't get it. So I have this big problem here with chain stretch. And of course with my Echo. 
all I have to do is loosen these bolts a little bit then I can put in my get my tightening spring going here so you want it tight but not too tight so when you pull those down they snap back into place Right now you can see I can pull it down. It's not showing all these teeth. I don't want it so far down that it does. This one is totally out under it. I can almost pull it off without doing anything on it. So the minute I start cutting with this thing, it pops off almost instantly. Um, but now when I cut with this one, it's gonna be tight. And I will show you that in a second as I'm gonna cut some wood. Well, not in a second, but I will show you me cutting wood with the new blade and how much nicer it is and how it does not pop off quite like the other one. So that's an example of the two tension things. This and the only thing I can do with it is to buy a whole new blade. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for coming out and paying attention. And hopefully if you liked it, if you could learn something new, um, click the link down below, subscribe. And I'll try to get more content video on there with other tips that I might come across in my daily struggles of life. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Oh, and stick with it. You got this. Even if I don't. See you on the next one.